welcome to my channel. I go by Boiler Dan One, and my motto is I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. So a few years ago, we moved into a condominium complex, and I don't have the space that I used to have, but I do have some hobbies that I want to develop, and one is model shipbuilding. So I needed some tools. This is a miniature lathe and I've used it just a couple times. I'm not a professional lathe operator by any means, but I wanted to make some miniature cannons and it just sounded like a fun thing to do. So let me show you my attempt to make a cannon. I've made three others and I think I can actually do it on this. I received this lathe as a Christmas gift. I put it on my list for my grandkids and kids to get me. And so far it's worked out at or above my expectations. It's not heavy duty, it's for small things. So what I will be making this miniature cannon barrel out of is mahogany. And that I think is a pretty hard wood. So we'll see how it goes and join along. I'll show you what you get with this kit if you purchase one. Again, mine came from Amazon. Uh, not real expensive, I don't remember the exact price. I'll look it up and put it on the screen after a bit. Okay, let's get started. So here's the unit itself. And I'm not sure why this is even on here because if I want to go out further, it gets in the way. This will slide back inside there, but then you can't tighten the, the nuts. So you can force it back, but it serves no purpose that I can tell. One thing I'll mention where I had a very minor problem, it stopped running and all it was was these clips. And you can see that's still loose right now that send power to it. And I just uh, took a pair of uh, needle nose or long nose pliers and kind of crimp that a little better. It was this one that was well there, but see they both move back and forth a little bit. Maybe that's just the cover. But if it quits working, just check those connectors there. As far as power, it comes with this little block. It says it's a notebook power adapter. There is a slide on the side that will increase the speed. I'm assuming that just increases the power. There are little lights on top. It has numbers 12 through 24. I'm not sure if that's volts, but for the lathe, I keep it down low so far. So because I have a couple of tools that came with this, this is a spare. I already have one hooked up. You get an assortment of lathe tools or chisels. I basically have only used this tiniest one. These are not real good quality. I'll play with them from time to time, but I've come up with my own technique uh, that seems to work better for me. And then you get an assortment of tools that come with it. This obviously you screw into the wood and then into the chuck. There's some Allen wrenches, a lot of different sizes that way. There are some straight Allen wrenches. I'm not sure what they're for. I'm guessing some of these little pieces that fit together, but why they're straight, I don't know. So that's basically it. And uh, let me give you an example of one of the cannons I made. Matter of fact, I just made this one. I'm going to try to hold my camera still. This is the cannon that I made. And now you get an idea how actually how tiny it is. Here it is in inches, a little over half an inch long. And I'm finally understanding why people use the metric system because it's in even units of 10. And for some reason, it's coming in handy when I try to duplicate things. Can't explain it, but I am starting to appreciate the metric system for the first time in my life. If you happen to watch my earlier video on the miniature table saw, I cut down this mahogany to about a half inch block. Then I took that and I've cut it in half. So this is the piece that I'm going to use. So let me get it set up on the lathe and we'll see how well I do. What you're seeing on the screen are my prototypes. This is the tiniest one I've made. This is probably ideal for the size ship that I'm going to build. These two are, again, these were just prototypes. 
you can tell this one on the outside and this one are very similar. Those I tried to make similar. So I think with more experience, I will get even better with it. Then the two in the back, these larger ones that are just probably an inch and a quarter. This is brass that I purchased. And believe it or not, I made this out of mahogany. And first I painted it black and then I did a rub in gold paint and rubbed it all off. And I think I really like the looks of that. So this is a size I'm going to go ahead and, and make because it'll take a little less time. First thing I'll do is try to get this block of wood into a round piece of wood. And I've discovered that actually using a good quality knife, this tip works better than these inexpensive woodworking tools. So that's what I've been using to at least start. I don't necessarily worry about it being smooth at this point. I'll become more concerned with that as I get down to the length I want for the barrels. So that's going to be the length and I'll mark that here shortly. I'm getting down to the point where I want to mark the length of the barrel and I'm actually going to mimic the smaller one. So hopefully you can see that it's beginning to look like a cannon barrel compared to this one. It's similar. And I make pirate ships, so I figure they steal all their cannons, so no two are exactly alike. So what I'm going to try and do is make this a little rounder back here. And then I just take a saw and hold it where I want it to cut off and then I'll drill the holes in it. Okay, that end is free. I'll leave this end attached and do a little sanding work on this end. So there's my cannon. Again, I'm just trying to do it on camera. It's a little larger than that one. And similar to this one. But again, I would normally work on it a little longer, a little more detailed. So now let me show you how I got this particular color to work out. First, I need to drill a hole in the end of the cannon, maybe sand a little bit of this off. One of my upcoming videos will feature this miniature belt sander. The first step I did was take black acrylic paint, doesn't take very much, and I just kind of worked it in on the barrel, making it black and then wiping it off. So there's the black barrel. Now, I, in the past, I let this dry, so I'm not sure if it's going to show like I want it to. Let me see if I can wipe off as much black as possible. This is from Hobby Lobby, and this is, well, it's, it's covered over, but it's Venetian gold. So this took just a very small amount. And this time I'm going to actually transfer it onto this rag 
It's okay if it's not even. I just kind of swirl it in it and brush it over it. And let me give you a close up. And there's my finished prototype of a, a, a cannon barrel made from mahogany. I think probably any hardwood will work. So as you can see, my two prototypes are not exactly the same, but I really did not work real hard on the second one. Whereas when I'm going to make them for the actual ship, I'll spend quite a bit more time. I just wanted to show everyone how the miniature lathe works. I'm very happy with it. If I were going to give it a grade, considering that it is for very small projects and light duty, I give it an A. So that concludes my review of the mini lathe that I received as a Christmas gift through Amazon. And I think if you put in mini lathe, you'll see it and you'll be able to recognize it. Sometimes they, uh, they have different names because someone buys it from the, uh, the maker and then they put their name on it. It has no name written on it. So that's it. And again, as always, I really appreciate everyone watching. It's been rewarding for me and I continue to come up with little things to talk about. Again, pretty soon here I will do a review on this mini belt sander. And I also recently purchased a, uh, a larger drill press. So I'll do a review on that too. So keep watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It helps everyone on YouTube out when you subscribe to their channels. This is Boiler Dan One, where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And as always, thanks for watching.